Hi, it's Paul, and today I'm an old man with a Brompton that needs a bottle cage. So I'm going to take you through the issues with fitting bottle cages to Bromptons, a few ideas I've had, and how I ended up with my choice, which is the Dom Monkey cage and the Dom Clip. So it's a standard, generic, cheap and cheerful bottle cage, the like of which you'd see on thousands of bikes. The only problem is there's no fittings for one on a Brompton. So that we can get around a scare of the internet finds that you can get clamp on bottle mounts, you can get velcro ones, you can get cable tie, zip tie ones, you could even go full on and drill holes in the frame and use riv nuts, probably avoid the warranty so possibly not recommended, but there's solutions to how you can get the thing to mount. But the bigger issue is less how you mount it, it's where you mount it. So you've got a very few limited positions on the Brompton because you want to retain the fold. You can go on top of the main frame tube like here or here. Although one point I didn't note here is you've got to be ahead of the front of the nose of the saddle when it's stowed. Otherwise you won't be able to fold the bike properly. You could go on the back face of the steering tube, the inner face so to speak, the side towards you or that side of the handlebars because that's on the outside when you fold the handlebars. You can't go on the seat post because if you go on the seat post, you're never gonna be able to lower the seat. So unless you wanna leave it in position, you're stuck there. One thing I didn't note here though, was that if you got a triathlon type bottle cage that mounts on the back of the saddle, you could potentially get away with that. What's particularly important for me and I guess most Brompton owners is the stored size. You don't want bits and pieces sticking out all over the place. So let's just recap on a couple of things I just said. If I put a conventional bottle cage on the back face of the steering tube, it's gonna stick out in this kind of area here and make the bike wider when it's stored. Same consideration with putting it on the back of the handlebars. And also important to note that if you use either of those locations, when you fold the bike, the bottle cage is going to be upside down. So if the bottle's inside it, it could fall out or leak. If you go on the back of the seat triathlon style, it's going to be increasing the envelope of the stowed bike. So that's not what I was looking for. But I can't see any reason for not mounting on top of the frame tube, except for tidiness and those people that carry it by the frame. I just chose not to do it that way. So having dispensed with the waffle of what I didn't do and what you could do, let's look at my actual solution. And the first thing you're going to say is, but Paul, you said you weren't going to put it on the back of the steering tube, and you have. Yep, keep watching and you'll see why. So this is the Dom Monkey bottle cage. And the thing about this is the cage itself is actually detachable and that's why I like it. Um, I'll just stress at this point, this is not an advert. I'm not sponsored, I wasn't gifted. I paid full price for this. I bought it because I saw a review on the internet from Devon Reviewer, thought I liked it, bought it, took a chance, fitted it and I like it. There you go. So I ordered the monkey cage from cycle miles in hampshire on the internet uh, what came in the packaging for those of you that like the unboxing stuff is the bottle cage the bracket which is already fitted on the brompton which you'll see in a moment the invoice a couple of adapters for different size tubing handlebars stems whatever seat stems maybe seat posts sorry uh, also came with the box that had the bracket in it and it came with the box for the cage flat packed invoice in the packaging and the other thing that it came with which could be useful if you've got another bike is a pair of these extra mounts which will screw to a, a normal bottle cage fitment on your ordinary bike so for instance I've got a Boardman MTB uh, I could fit these lugs on the Boardman and I could use this on the Boardman as well. I'm not going to because I've already got a Topeak adjustable bottle cage on the Boardman. You'll see a picture of that in a minute when I'm talking about what it fits and what it doesn't. Um, so there you go. That's what you get when you order it. Quick bit of video here showing the lugs fitted on a standard cage fitting on a normal bike. 
non-Brompton fit, if you like. Fitting out on the Brompton handlebar stem was easy enough. Uh, didn't really even think about it. Didn't refer to the instructions or anything. But on the back of the bracket box, or as I should call it, the clip box, uh, it does give you a little bit of information on how to mount it. Here's the cage itself then, detached from the bracket. Um, as you can see, injection moulded plastic, bit of Velcro to strap it. Uh, I've got to say, it doesn't look the strongest thing in the world, but it's early days. Let's see how it goes. I've used it a couple of times and it seems to work okay. So we'll see in the long term how that runs out. Here it is with a bottle strapped in it. This is the normal mode you'd use it in if you like. You take the bottle and the bracket off. And I'm just going to give it a quick test in the hope that it holds together and doesn't break. And we'll see what happens with that. So as you can see, the bracket hasn't broken, the bottle hasn't fallen out. Um, it's got a couple of rubber pads on the inside of the bracket to hold the bottle in place. In terms of what will fit in the bottle cage, the possibilities are pretty much only limited by your imagination. It will take any standard sort of camelback type bottle or a sig bottle or whatever. Um, and doesn't seem to give any problems with holding anything within reason. This is the install process. First of all, showing you the clip, plastic clip. What I particularly like about it is the fact that the retaining nuts are actually molded into the plastic. They don't fall out. This uh, 30 seconds odd of fumbling here is me trying to prove to you by screwing the nut in the back, or screwing the screw in the back of the nut that they are molded into the plastic. So they don't fall out as soon as you open it up. Clip opens up and you then Press it over the stem or steering tube, whatever you want to call it, in place. You then just put the screws into the screw holes and clamp it up. Couldn't really be a lot easier. In terms of the positioning on the Brompton, for me, I took the height of my highest bottle, uh, which has to fit underneath my phone mount and basically positioned it just low enough to get the cage off the bracket without actually having to take the phone off the handlebars. Quick high speed whiz through the install process, just tightening the bolts up, making sure the clamp's secure using the Brompton tool kit. Then a bit of a closer view, looking at it installed. It's quite a tidy looking little piece of bracketry to be honest seems strong enough time will tell um, and i'll let you know in six months two years time i'll do another review video the bottle fits on in a sort of upward angled motion onto the top lug then slides down and secures on the bottom lug fairly easy to do and the reverse to take it off here you can see it's pretty much unobtrusive on the bike. I've got it on the stem just around the area of the securing lug that holds the handlebars closed in when it's folded. And it doesn't get in the way at all. It doesn't stick out the side of the bike when the cage is not on it. It uh, kind of pretty much does what it says on the tin. If I fold the bars up, then you can see it's now in the sort of upright position ready to be used. And now you can see as you fold the bars down, it goes into the retaining clip quite nicely and clears the bracket easily. The last thing I quite like then is when you have got the bike folded down, if you want to stick the bottle on the side of it and just hang it there, if it's sat at the side of a table in a coffee shop or something, then you can just turn the cage upside down and it will sit there with the bottle the right way up and the bottle won't fall out or leak. Uh, so I think it's all good. Well, in closing, I guess one of the questions you might ask is how much did it cost? And the answer to that is £38.90 plus £3.95 postage, as you can see here on the invoice. And you can also see the nice little message handwritten by Miles on the invoice to say thank you. So, no complaints there. As always, if this video has been helpful or you've enjoyed it, please consider liking or subscribing. 
if you want the information on cycle miles or Devon reviewer that will be in the description if you've got any questions stick them in the comments below or go on to oldmanwith.com and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye